Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the standard Boolean operations for creating families in Revit. Here I am in Revit 2016 in the Recent Files window. I will click New for creating a new family. And for the sake of ease, we'll work with generic model. <clears throat> From here, let's go over to the front elevation and create a reference plane to set and create a top reference plane for the sake of working with one of the Boolean operations. Now that that's finished, let's head back to the floor plan view. If we go over to the Create tab of the ribbon, there is the Forms panel, and here are your Boolean operations. Extrude, Blend, Revolve, Sweep, and Swept Blend, and then you have the Void Shapes as well. <clears throat> An extrusion is when you take and create a profile and pull it or push it along a linear straight path. So I'll start the extrusion command. It goes into sketch mode and it asks you to draw the magenta lines that represent the outside edges of your extrusion. So let's just do a simple rectangular box like that. Let's look at it in 3D. It might be a little easier as well. When you finish, hit the green check mark. You can also put in the extrusion start and end over here as well. But by the time it's all said and done, most people will create it and will use these arrows to manipulate the faces of these of the extrusion. So that's the extrusion command. The second one is the uh, blend, where you're taking two profiles and pulling or pushing them together in a linear format and blending them together. So let's go back to the reference level four plan. Let's get rid of this one. Create our blend. By default, it asks you to create the profile for the bottom, and you can set the current reference plane to be whatever you want. So I'm going to set it as reference level. I'll create a rectangle for this one. I'll hit Edit Top to work on the top one. I'll set this to be the reference top level that we worked with earlier, and make it a different shape, say, for example, that. Again, if you want to, we can look at it in 3D. Hit the green check mark, and you're finished and now you have yourself an interesting shape. The third is Revolve. Revolve is when you want to take a profile and turn it, spin it on an axis and create a shape. An example would be maybe a vase. So let's say I start the Revolve command. Um, I can create the axis line by just drawing something, say for example that. Go back to boundary line and draw the shape that I need that represents the object that I'm dealing with. So for example, and say maybe this, and back to view, and you need to make sure that your profile is a clean closed loop. <clears throat> By default, it will revolve 360 degrees. When you finish, hit the green check mark, and now you have yourself another interesting shape. Okay. Let's delete that. And then lastly, you have uh, you have a couple more. You have sweep. Sweep is when you have a profile that is pushed or pulled along a nonlinear path. So I start the sweep command. I can sketch the path that I want. Say, for example, something like this. It could be like the leg of a table. And you'll see you have a reference plane that you're working off of, off of and therefore you can go ahead and create your um, create your profile. And like that. Hit the green check mark to finish the profile. Hit the green check mark to finish the sweep. And there you go. Okay. And then lastly, you have swept blend, which is when you have two profiles sweeping along a nonlinear path and joining together. So I'll start the command. I'll sketch my path. 
like so. And now you notice you have two reference planes to work off of. The first click is the first reference plane sweep profile, and the second click is the second profile that you're dealing with. Hit this green check mark to finish the creation of the path. You can click Select Profile 1. It highlights this one in a light blue. Click Edit the Profile and draw the profile that you want. So let's say, for example, it's going to be something like this. And then hit the green check mark to finish that profile. Click Select Profile 2, edit its profile, like so. Hit the green check mark to finish that profile. And then hit green, the green check mark to finish the sweat blend. And there you go. That's how you do a sweat blend. So very quickly, that was a screencast on all the basic forms for Boolean operations while working with creating a Revit family. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.